Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Resident Evil Village Let's Play. I want to be very, very honest with you. Everything just got in the way. I am very sorry with the long gap between the last part and this part. Just different live streams got in the way, different videos and just some personal things with life. Um, but I'm not going to drag this intro any longer. We're back. Leave a like if you want more Resident Evil, subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss out on any parts of this series, and let's jump back in to Resident Evil Village. Okie dokie, so, last episode we took on House Beneviento, and annoyingly died a couple times. <laughs> I completely forgot how you had to go through the uh, lift at the end with the baby, but AO, we live and we learn from our mistakes. And I think this, oh, photo of a strange bird, I've already shot that. Um, I think with this episode we're going to continue on just a little bit. I don't know if we'll go fully into Munro's area. Um, we might do. I think I specified last episode that these videos can't be longer than half an hour all the time because it just becomes a pain to edit and especially upload. Um, and also the fact that the PlayStation hates it when you record longer than half an hour. Especially an hour, which is what the um, House Dimitrescu Castle ended up being. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, I think we've also specified a lot in the previous episodes. If you want to use this as a guide, you are more than welcome to. I will be going through the game at a steady pace. But I will go slow enough and explain how to do certain puzzles and certain little tricks that I know of to help you have an easier experience. Um, oh. I shouldn't be shooting these a lot. I should just run past him. I'm going to be coming back here later because there is a hidden jewel back at the entrance of House Beneviento. Move out the way. You son of a bitch. So I've been playing Resident Evil 5, so I'm getting a bit confused on where's what for my inventory. I could probably just be saying, oh, Henry, just use the actual inventory screen. I c oh, it's a mess. Uh, I would, but I like the quick swaps, so that's probably what I'm going to be sticking with. I need to get rid of this, because I've got the uh, tack now. Oh, oh, dang it. I hate the inventory in this game. It's not like Resident Evil Falls at all. Yes, they brought the attache case back, but it's not as fluid, I feel. Right, we're just going to come straight back here. We're going to put the legs in there. So the whole thing is we're collecting all four parts of Rose by going to each Lord, like Lord's area. And coming back here, putting in the altar, and then we go back up that way and go up to Heisenberg. So let's go Does speak to the Duke. Look familiar to you? Yeah, I sold you that. That's why. Oh, we have got to make sure we keep these two um, pieces here because I need to try and find where ah, the Miss Angie. Just other parts Russell are. are very popular, you know. Let's sell the. Shotgun. Let's make sure we get some ammo. Oh, that's just there because I've, 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 I've beaten the game before, so I'm not going to be buying any of the special weapons and all that. Uh, gunsmith. That's what we want. It's got 50,000 Lee, so. Let's make sure the shotgun is upgraded because it's probably going to be a few little steps behind my. Pistol and sniper. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. For your patronage. You're welcome. All right, so let's quickly move that back to where I like it. Got plenty of healables, which is pretty cool. Plenty of goop. Let's make some more hanging ammo, and now we're going to continue. On this way, put the key in, and bala boom, bala bam. 
Belly rubs or whatever. Apologies if near a bike in the background, but windows open. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Get away from me! I'm sorry for all the times I would do that to Rose. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, need to quickly. Oh, not examine. I need to quickly put that on my quick. Slots. There we go. What's that? Bookworm. Oh, read every single. Ah, okay. I didn't. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay, I know I needed that trophy, but I didn't realize that was the only one I hadn't read. Sweet. I'll take that. All of my trophies were on the PS4 version, because I originally had this on PS4. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Leave me be, leave me be, leave me be. Oh, I'll just pop that down. Screw you. You dead? I think he's dead. Yes. Oh, I'm not going in there. No. I mean, I could just go straight back to the other area that I needed to get some extra loot from, but I might save that for a later part just to go around and just scoop up some of the stuff that I've missed. Then I could be more thorough with where's what. Actually, no. I am going to go up this way. Because I just remembered the grenade launcher is in this house here. And I could also open that gate and have an easier way through. So there's the ammo. And then the grenade launcher is just chilling on the shelf. By the table. Uh, we'll just put that there. It's not going to cause any harm. But I'll only use that for emergencies, so like boss fights and stuff. I'm not going to use it just casually. Wait, for that? Wait. Oh, yes. An uh, enemy open that opens that gate. I thought there was a lock on it. Guess not. Scary noises. Let's just run. Go to Monroe's swamp. So baffling how different each area is, despite it being in the exact same place. So you just shoot his gunk away. And we climb up. And we got some pigs. Let's also unlock that for later. I'm not going to get the pigs yet because I don't see any reason to right actually. No, we'll get them now. Rear. Is that all of them? Here it is. Sweet. Let's go into the windmill. Photos of a, photo of a rare animal. Oh yeah, that's up at um, Thingy's house right at the start. Let's go through another one of the many tunnels and lifts. I guarantee these tunnels and lifts just exist since this game still released on Xbox One and PS4. If that, di if this didn't, these lifts and that wouldn't exist. They own the only reason they're here is to load the area, as this game's somewhat of an open world. I, I, I probably a more, probably the best way to put it is just like it's like a linear open world. Yes, it's very familiar to the classic games, in the sense that you've plunked in the environment and... Oh no, wrong button. you plunked into the environment and you've just set off to do your own thing. But just for the fact that... Uh, it's just 
just feels more open than the old ones. I hear static on a TV. Yo, who's watching my favorite show up in here? Are you watching the Big Bang Theory in here? <laughs> Bazinga. That was easy as cheese. Yo. I'll just be taking this. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing with Father's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you are from say? What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I what do I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plucked away. I feel really bad for Munro. Damn freak! See, he's just a regular person. He's the most deformed out of all the uh, four lords. Hmm. We can't go about the way we came, so we're just gonna go through the, this way. How do I get out of here? And there's another one of Ethan's many questions. Again, I'll get into my thoughts of the game in the last part, but... Oh. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. How much of a blunder you were. Also, just, just in case anybody wants, I'm not going to be playing the Shadows of Road DLC either. Um, I'm only going to do the main game. Purely because the Shadows of Rory DLC, in my opinion, was... It just wasn't it. It just was not very good. Rose was just boring. The whole thing with Ethan's... Like, I'm going to get into spoilers here for it, but... The whole thing with like Ethan and Rose being on screen together, like the fact that they just showed... They did not show Ethan's face is what ruined it. Like The ending is literally Ethan saying goodbye to Rose. And his face is covered the entire time. Like, they just angle the camera so you can't see his face. His arm just specifically blocks it. It just takes... Yes, it was emotional, but it just takes away so much more. It had so much more potential if they just actually showed Ethan's face officially. Like, yeah, we all know what his face looks like. There's pictures of it. But that's just from edited photos and, you know, just messing around with stuff that's already put out there. They haven't, like, straight up when, oh, hey, this is what Ethan looks like. Have fun. Even in third person, I'll probably show it at the end. Just switch into it, just at the end of the uh, episode, to show that even in third person, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you can't see Ethan's face because they just shy it away. Like, I get the whole thing with him was supposed to be you are... Uh, you are supposed to be Ethan, but... If you're gonna give him more personality in this game, uh, like seven, you should at least show his face. But again, I'll get more into it in my final. Oh, crikey. In the final part. Oh, have I got any um stuff? No, I do not. Uh, hey Take that, punk. Actually, you know what? I might save it for a ex. Wow. Well, mm, I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens. I'll see what I plan. I do keep an eye out 
for what I have installed. If you want to, be sure to subscribe. Notifications on. <laughs> Right, let's just quickly... Hey ya! God dang it. So pretty much you just want to get the boat key from this area, so we can go back to the boat. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. But if you want to start that discussion already, do leave a comment saying your thoughts on what Ethan is like. I'll definitely have a look and read them, and I will get back to you on them too. More than welcome to start a discussion in the comments on what you think of Ethan and his character. Right, let's run back to the way we just went. Right, let's go back up here. We go back down here. And up this way, but yeah. Actually, let's goof it up a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, yeah. Take that. come into the boat and then we start driving the boat oh oh yeah it's just the less stick the reservoir what was that big fish Big fishy fish. That's what that was, Ethan. Nope. Hey, that's the first time I've actually gone to that part and not have the game park it itself. Alright, we're gonna take a little. I need to left. We're gonna take a right up this way. We're gonna keep following up through to this little hidden spot. We have more fish. Uh, I need some shotgun rounds. Yeah. All right, we have more fish in here somewhere. Oh, that's the big one. That's the big fish. You probably reuse these fishes for Resident Evil Four. Where are they? Uh, fishy. Where's the fish? Oh. Is it just literally this big fish? Nope. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, they're stuck. I think they've just got stuck. Is that all the fish? Yes, it is. Yeah, they just got stuck. I don't know what that was about. They should just usually be swimming around. There's another gem. There it is. I knew there was another one in here. A large crystal. Right. Getting the controls mixed up. Let's move that to there. That's actually, I'm going to reload the shotgun. I will be getting rid of the tack at some point later as well because there is another shotgun I want to be using. Which will cross that bridge when we get there. Right, let's see what's behind this curtain. 
Hopefully, hopefully it's a Lady Dimitrescu having a shower. Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? Get off me! I wasn't trying to cheat on me, I swear. Stay the fuck down, Ethan. Well, hello, Chris. You made it this far. You asshole. Shame if something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. But my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. Oh, Christ. You stay out of our business, Ethan. Oh no, Chris! What a shame! Oh no, Ethan! So it's connected to the mold, huh? Okay. Shit! Stay back! I don't have time for this. If you didn't have subtitles on, you would not be able to know what he's saying. Okay, I never realized that. You can see when he spawns in when that big puddle appears. That's very weird. Ooh, run. Run, 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 run. It's just a straight path over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Big floppy fish. Okay, so I think there's also a, supposed to be a goat on one of these like pedestals outside the area. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Pre shoot that one. What am I supposed to do? I don't fucking actually walk in the right direction. Right, that's the way we need to go, but it is a little bit blocked right now. Uh, he said the exit's underwater. Oh. So the whole thing here is we need to. Get the dam back up and running. So I talk to the Duke. Sup? You wish to make a purchase? Yeah, I suppose so. We're gonna talk to him for some more food. Uh mm -hmm. give him that. Food. I can hardly wait for the next ingredient. Thank you. I'll bring them to Get you soon. Window shop away. He actually go into his thingy to sell what I've just got. Your coin. <laughs> Your coin. Uh, uh -huh. Upload. Upgrade, upgrade the firepower. Upgrade the capacity. Upgrade the reload speed. So the F2 is mostly I'm done. And we'll do them for a small fee. How oh, really now? Adventure. I don't believe so. Right. 
Hmm. So, I need to remember which way to go. I believe it's just out this door here. Yeah. There are some chickens nearby as well. What are you finding funny, huh? Hmm. Bitch. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Yeah, the chickens are just up here. The crank is old and busted. Need to go to the windmills. Jesus Christ, my aim. I need freaking Cassidy's dead eye for this. It is high noon. Clickety cluck. I think I took them all. Yep, this should be three. And there is three. So we've got chicken and fish. Delicious. Love chicken. I love fish. So I'm not complaining. So the whole shtick here is we've got to get these two windmills going. But well, we need the crank to do so. And that will supply us power up to where I just was with the uh, doodah. So we don't... Oh, hold on. I don't know why it's such a fiddle to actually activate it. So the crank breaks, which is typical. Uh, seriously? Yep. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, where is it? Oh, don't forget the hanging ammo because I'm running low. So you're gonna go inside this windmill and drop down. Drop down, Ethan. Drop down. Good boy. And then. I thought there was a tightrope in it, but guess not. This section, we've got to be pretty quick because Munro is swimming through the water. Eh. And if you're not careful, he will kill you. You know which way you need to go because you need to look for the yellow tape on the pieces of wood. The one bit I've already shot, which was over there. I shot over that way. I'll show you that when I get up close. There's Monroe. Oh Christ, oh Christ, go on. So if you haven't already shot it like I just did, the this part is just here. Shoot the um Oh crikey. Shoot the um wooden logs like I just did. The wooden sticks like I just did. Get push this. So now it is a. Now it's just a game of getting over that way for some reason. So we need to flick these levers to make sure we have enough time to cross. Oh. That'll permanently raise this. And we've got to be careful for when Monroe is coming across because he will kill you. Instantly. So what you want to do is flick the lever a couple times. To make sure you have enough time. Go through. Especially while you're activating the other ones. Oh crikey. Oh this part stresses me out. Magnum rounds. Right, so that one activates that one over there. Let's activate this a few times. Let's go. Activate that one once. Come on, haven't got all day. Haven't got all day. Oh, I've. Hold on. I really screwed this one up. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, 
shit, shit, shit! Oh! Yeah, he jumps across. Oof. Yeah, that part is a really big pain in the backside. E. Let's come in on the side. Oh! oh my god. I know what I'm doing, but holy crap. Then you just want to be really quick. You want to be quick. Don't stop. Go left. I don't know what... God dang it. Oh, I think I've already shot it. That's why I can't see it. But even then, I can't remember which stand it's on. So look out that way for the goat. Ooh, wait for him to disappear. Run up here. And then that. So what do we need to get across to here? I know, such a fiddle just to get goddamn power. Oof. Jump down. Across. My jaw. I should have just shot that. That was unnecessarily long. Knifing that. Um. Or stuff. Now here's one of Ethan's best lines in the game. I call myself a big one. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that is probably one of his better lines in the game. Oh. Oh, let's go in here. There's no time limit for this part. You just go in and then do the stuff. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, you gotta shoot the ladder, well, the padlock on the ladder. That was the right way, god dang it. Even those who know what they're doing still makes a few mistakes or two. I just need to crank this. And I forget what you do. I think you just need to shoot something. Or it is just cranking that. Door's warped. Oh no. I remember it being something very specific. Yeah, there it is. You have to activate. For some reason, you have to look at the ladder to activate the thing that you've already got the crank in. Like, really? Like, why does it do that? Every single time I do this section, I always get stuck with that because it's so pointless. Like, the crank is already in the goddamn thing you need to turn. It makes the windmill stop and you climb up the windmill side like a ladder. And then with that hook that Ethan remembered earlier, or kept with him earlier. Whee! We'll go through his mouth. Let me use the crank on here. That gives power, and then we go back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here, and next episode we will go through the puzzle, empty the dam, kill Monroe, and then. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Whilst you're lighting up some crack. <laughs> and 
And then Carry what on. I'll do is, with next episode, go through doing some of the cleanup with the loot around the village. Oh. Where do I go? Ah, there. Thank you. Food is life. More gems. There we go. Then I'll Have save. And I want to thank you for watching this episode of Resonant Evil Village. I promise there will not be a long delay between this part and the next one. Um, I'll try and sit down and record some more soon. Um, and I won't make it a week's wait between each part. So I am very sorry about that once more again. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like. It shows me that you are enjoying this Let's Play. And subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss out on any of the parts. And also... The next, I think I've said the next, the last episode, the next game I'll be playing through is Resident Evil 2 Remake. So be sure to keep an eye out for that when this game is finished. So, yes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.